guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Okay, so I'm doing another video for Ginger's Corner Scraps to Embellishments. Um, and this week's theme that Ginger has given us is Let's Stay Home. Now, do you think for the life of me I've got anything for that? Absolutely not. No. So I've had to stop and think, okay, well, let's stay home and do what? So, I found some stickers. So, mainly, I've gone with let's stay home to be with the pets, right? That's what you normally stay home for. And the other thing that I found was some stickers for buttons and ribbons. So, I kind of went, well, let's stay home for sewing, like crafting. I don't have any, you know, stamps or stickers for... Um, that had needles or um, I went through my daughter's old sticker activity book thing and I found I mean I could have put lots of fruit on there to you know for the garden or but I didn't actually have what I wanted for you know gloves and a spade and things like that so I've gone through and just grabbed one bit of white that I had cut off like that but a bit wide oh, there it was I had a bit that was that long like that and I cut it off and just made some tags I had same with the blue I had a bit of blue that was the tail end of the blue um, and I've just made tags this week so I've got a dog a budgie and rabbits and I found um, a rubber stamp a close to my heart stamp oh, actually get things to this is them and it is this one here is the number these are old stamps so if you know a close to my heart consultant they may have an old stamp in their stash and I found things like happiness lives here simple pleasures well at home happiness does live at home because most of your things that you love are at home apart from your loved ones your pets, your garden, your crafting, your books. Um, so, uh, I think I'm just going to go at the top. What simple pleasures? Simple pleasures could be that one there. So, let's just go with this. So, let's go. I should have moved the doggy up. I wonder if I can get the doggy off. No, I'm going to tear it. Oh no, look at that, look at that. Mm. Let's just go on my hand for a second. And go, happiness lives here. Alright. We're going to move our doggy up to the side. And I put some paw prints at the top and you could do some journaling on here. That's what I made them for. So... Let's go with our budgie, see if I can take that off. Let's see if I can or not. And I might move him to the other side. Happiness lives here. So let's go over to this side. And then his tail can come down. Okay? A little bit of a boot boot there. Wipe out. Clean that off. Right. The next one is simple pleasures. Put that on our stamp block. Simple pleasures. Now, I wonder if I can make that move up slightly. Yes, I can. I don't know why I just closed that up because I need that. I mean, a lot of people like to stay home and do cooking. I know Captain Karen likes to cook a lot. 
simple closures and I wonder if this one could go outside. There we go. So that's just my way of thinking for, you know, stay at home. Let's stay home. Let's stay home and be with the pets. Quality time. Simple pleasures at home. And that's what I've come up with now. Put that back in there. I not will now um, go around the edges. Like so, just ink around the edges. I think I need a new foam for that. Like so, just to finish the tag off. I had some ribbon. Now, what I do with the ribbon is I just double it over. I go through the hole. And then bring that back through. And go like that. Okay? And I turn it over. So that it'll stay in place. And I stick some double-sided tape on there. Okay, to make it stay in place. Well, this was the thinnest ribbon I could find. Now, this will then not be too, this will still be flat for to send in the mail, okay, for your embellishments to go in the mail. Other one. I'll show you how I made my tag in a minute. So I haven't showed you that either. That's why they look, my tags look a bit bent. Is I, I do it the easy, cheap way. Like I don't just do one corner at a time. So that they're even on both corners. Um, I go like oh, that one done out tape on the back so that they stay and there you go that's our tags now that's a bit of cardboard was a bit of scrap stuff small bit of scrap stuff that's a full length here here we go so here's a bit of off cut card right so I want to make that into a tag I just fold it a little and just crease at the top a bit hold it there and cut the corners off okay then you've got a tag grab your hole punch punch a hole because where you've where you've creased it is the middle and that's where I put my hole so I hope that helps if um, if you know a, an easy way to make a card if you don't have a die as I mean I've got a couple but they're not to make a bigger a bigger tag um that way you can do your own doesn't look anything out of place and then when you stick them onto the page more than likely you're going to go there and there stick them down and they're flat so it's got a bit of black stuff i might have to change that one later um and there you go so that is the my embellishments made for this week mainly because i couldn't think of what to do for stay at home and I didn't have much so this is what I went with um, now 
to ginger there's no right or wrong way to play with paper it's your interpretation of that theme um i could have also left this for next week which is you know a different theme altogether um but i decided that that's at home it's you go home for your pets you go home for your family um you stay home to do bits and pieces cooking gardening sewing crafting that sort of thing um we don't have any pets anymore so there's not that there for us but crafting i you know craft i always stay home to craft or you do your housework or you know you do your cooking <laughs> or your gardening um so this is just what i've come up with for this week so i do hope that um if you do like what i've done if you give me a thumbs up that would be really appreciated thank you so very much um i'll pop down below in the description box the playlist that ginger's come up with and there's quite a few of us creators actually creating videos to show you guys some different ways like there's going to be people that have lots of dyes and things like that i don't i don't have a lot of dyes i don't have a lot of much to tell you the truth so i go with what i've got um, and this is a good way to show you how to use your scraps, how to use what you've got, and make the best of what you've got. So go and check everyone else out down below. Um, if you're not subscribed to them already, please do. They're all some very talented ladies. Um, and they come up with some brilliant ideas. And quite often I'll be watching the video thinking, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> So, you know, it, it gives you ideas. It gives you inspiration and ideas of how to make your own things if you don't have embellishments for them. Um, so thank you, everyone, for watching. I will stop talking. Um, check everyone out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.